A while ago we've got, uh, actually last year's uh, Black Friday sales, I picked up this ATEM 300 watt solar blanket. Uh, and since then I've upgraded to a KT Cables one as I found the output from this blanket was uh, nowhere near that 300 watt. But uh, the seller uh, offered me a fairly substantial discount just to not have to go through the return process. So I decided to stick with it um, and I can just use it I think for charging up my battery box, which has a iTech World 120X lithium battery in it. So during this year's Black Friday sales, I picked up an ATEM Power 20 amp MPPT charge controller. Um, and really wanted to get it, give it a test out because it was um, regular price is only about 40 or 50 dollars or something, which is quite cheap for an MPPT. Um, however, since uh, since that item, that MPPT was delivered, I've noticed that uh, it's missing some fairly key specs that you'd want from an MPPT controller, like max PV input voltage. So I'm actually going to return that unit for a refund, just because um, Macella wasn't able to provide me any any specifications from the manufacturer that might you know, uh, give me an idea of what I can safely hook up voltage-wise as PV input. But anyway, as as a bit of a test today, I was just going to test the PWM controller that came with my ATEM uh, solar blanket and then uh, let it run for a little while on a, uh, I think there's about 20 amp hour out of this uh, iTech 120X battery. So it should uh, be able to pretty much absorb it, uh, all the power being put out by this uh, ATEM solar blanket today, even though it is a bit cloudy. So I'll let it run for a little while. We'll keep an eye on the uh, the meter here, just to see what the peak uh, amperage is. Um, so it's not pumping out too much at the moment, but you can see my uh, poor old PWM controller here has gotten fairly beaten up in the meantime but I mean it's a fairly standard even on PWM controllers you can see there you get a max PV input voltage value of 50 volts and that's on just the included you know El Cheapo PWM so it was, I found it a bit surprising that a uh, $50 MPPT didn't have any such specs with it but anyway we'll see how it goes we'll let this run for maybe half an hour and just come back and check what uh, the maximum uh, amperage feed in uh, gets up to or maximum wattage and then we'll swap over to the MPPT and uh, do likewise. So this is the MPPT charge controller I got. Um, as you can see uh, nowhere on the labelling is anything mentioned about max PV. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly hook it up uh, and you'll also be able to see it's um, very very similar in design to the King's MPPT unit and yeah just others we see, I've seen on eBay. So I wasn't sure what I was expecting but uh, yeah we'll see what see what it does. If we look uh, down on the meter we can see there there was 11.42 amps peak and 151 watts peak there. Um, I've put about two and a half amp hours back into the battery in the time I've had, had it all uh, hooked up here. So what we'll do now is I'll uh, disconnect that up and uh, just using the same cable, so I'll cable in the uh, MPPT here and see what happens. Um, so see the the battery's been registered at uh, 13.14 volts there. Um, and the charger here has recognized it's not a fully fully charged battery anyway. So we'll plug in the solar now. Righto, charges in. Solar is registered. And we are charging. So we'll 
let it run for a while and just see if it uh, can beat that 11.4 amp peak and 151 watt peak that this uh, basic little PWM charge controller did. So I've had the MPP charge controller on for a little while now. It's put in about 2.6 amp hour, um, but it is actually not getting the same. You can see that it's got a 10.9 amp hour peak. Um, and up here we'll see it's got a, what's that, about 144.5 peak wattage. So it's actually um, putting in less than what the basic little PWM controller was over there. Uh, I even went back and um, uh, put a bit more load on the battery just to drain it out a bit, just so it was uh, going to be absorbing as much as the blanket could put out. Um, and retried the test, and it still has not, yeah, has not, as we can see, has not reached the same uh, levels quite, not a great deal in it, uh, as the basic. A PWM controller so I would say yeah there's absolutely no reason to spend your money on one of these units it's um, no, no benefit over your uh, PWM that comes with your solar blanket